guys and welcome to part four of my makeup collection and declutter series. Today we are going to be doing my blushes which as you can see this is a very full drawer and in addition to this I have all of my cream blushes in a bin because it doesn't fit in this drawer. Ideally I would love to condense it down so that all of my blushes fit in one drawer but I'm also not going to just give away products that I love in order to meet that goal because I do have the space in other drawers for my cream products now that I have been condensing my drawers down but that would be the goal like in the future when I've gone through a couple declutters if I could get all my blushes in one drawer I would be happy because let's be honest this is a lot of blush granted I do really love blush so I think the easiest way for this drawer is going to be for me to do it by brand just because I really only know these colors within the brand. I mean, there might be a couple that I know are super similar that I can pair, but for the most part, I feel like going by brand is the easiest. I'm actually gonna empty out this drawer and put only the brand ones in at a time and work through it that way. If you haven't seen part one, two, or three of this declutter series, I'm gonna have my declutter playlist linked below and it's going to have all of the declutter videos. I'm going in order of the drawers. So these are all of my MAC powder blushes and I'm going to go ahead and pull them all out and spread them out so I can see the colors. Okay, so there's a few that I know that I love and I'm definitely going to be keeping and that is Pink Colt, Well Dressed, Spring Sheen, you can see I've used a lot of that one, and Dainty, I think, yeah, that Dainty. Keeping those ones for sure. I'm also going to be keeping Koi Girl, and Tippy. This was from the Hello Kitty for Matte collection, which came out right when I was first getting into YouTube. It's a very, very old blush. I don't even think that I would like ever use, I mean, I feel like powders last forever though, right? I just wanna keep it. It's one of the only products that I've kept mostly for sentimental value. I don't keep like lip glosses or anything, even if I'm sentimental about them, but a powder product's a little different, so I'm gonna be keeping her. Crisp Whites is a color that's just a little bit too pale for me. I thought it would be a pretty, like very neutral peachy flush, but it's just too nude for me, so I'm gonna pass that one on. And speaking of colors that don't really work for me, neither do these two. They're both a little bit too orange. This this one is Modern Mandarin, and I thought that I could sheer it out and make it look really, really pretty, but it's just way too orange. And then this one is my Highland Honey. This is another one that just doesn't really flatter me. It's too yellow-orange. It just doesn't work. So these three I'm going to be passing on. I love Modest Blush, Azalea in the Afternoon, and this one up here, I don't know the name of this one, Fun Ending, so I'm keeping those. I also love Instant Chic and Easy Manner. These are just really easy to wear. I love these. What have we got left? This I think is Sun Basque. Yeah, I actually really like that one, keeping that. I love this shade. That's like a really pretty doll pink. These two are super similar. I feel like I can only keep one. This one I actually don't really like. I like the color idea of it, but I find that it looks really similar to a NARS shade that I have called Outlaw, but this one has chunkier glitter in it, so I don't find myself using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one on. Then I think I'm gonna keep all three of these. I'm gonna put these two aside because I wanna compare them to a NARS blush I have, which I'm gonna do next. So I'm just gonna stick these over here. All right, here are all of my NARS powder blushes. NARS is one of my favorite brands for blushes in particular so I do have quite a few but I know that there are some that I never reach for and I need to get rid of so I'm gonna pull out the ones that I love the most first orgasm is one of my all-time favorites it's a beautiful peach pink Angelica is also beautiful you can see how dirty it is the ones that are super dirty are the ones that I use the most this is a really pretty like purpley hot pink I love it Deep Throat is just a little bit different than Orgasm, and this one actually is a little bit more flattering for my skin, but I do like both of them, and they do look different. Sin is a plummy one that I absolutely love, and then Doser looks really weird and boring and plain in the container, but this is one of my favorite blushes for the winter time when you're wearing a red lip. So those ones are like for sure being kept. Those are definitely my most worn NARS blushes, and then we have to go through these because these are the ones that I don't know as well. Some of them I do really like, but others I don't really. So I guess, you know what, I'm gonna open them all. The two in the back I absolutely love. These are absolutely beautiful colors. This one is called Soul Shine, and this one is called Realm of the Senses. I'm going to be keeping both of those because I love them. This one is a really pretty pearl color. You would think that I would love this, but it's really just glitter and I never reach for it. I, it's not a good highlighter and it also is not a blush, so I'm gonna let this one go. This one, which is called Almeria, this one reminds me a lot of the Soul Cycle one, which is this one. 
and I just feel like this one's a little bit more chunky and a little bit less wearable. The consistency just isn't as nice. So I'm gonna let this one go and I'm gonna keep the Soul Cycle. Okay, so this color is called Love and this one I think is Daydream, yeah. Both of these I'm gonna let go of. They're both just kind of plain. I feel like I own a bajillion colors in the same kind of tone. And these remind me of Orgasm, except without the shimmer that makes me love Orgasm. So I'm gonna let both of these ones go. This one is absolutely beautiful in the packaging. This is called Starscape. And in real life, it is a vivid, bright pink. I don't know how the lights are really doing with these products. I don't know how well you guys can tell the difference, but this is like the most vivid pink blush I've ever seen but it's really not very pigmented and it's hard to build up and so I'm just gonna let it go I kept trying to work with it because it is such a pretty shade but it just doesn't work these two which this one is Corbaton and this one is 413 blacker I believe these two, even though they look different in the pan, they swatch very, very similarly, but this one is a little bit easier to work with. It's a little bit more pigmented and less chalky. So I'm gonna let this one go and I'm going to be keeping this one. And I'm gonna be keeping these four. This one is Outlaw. This is the one that reminded me of the MAC Supernova, but this one's prettier than that one. So I got rid of that one. I'm keeping this one. This is Unlawful, another really pretty one. This is New Attitude. And then this one is the one that I wanted to compare the two MAC shadows because these are all very similar colors and they swatch similarly too. So this one is Sex Fantasy and then we have MAC Secura and MAC Unconventional. And I'm just gonna go ahead and decide on one. So let's do this. We have that one. That one, actually that's quite different. It's more vivid. And then this one. Ah, okay. I feel like these two are almost the same color, but this one just looks nicer, which is this one. So I'm gonna keep MAC unconventional. I'm not sure, the NARS one, I want to keep it because it's NARS and I love NARS blushes, but it's really, it doesn't come across as pretty as this one. It's a little bit chalkier and like sticks to my skin a little bit more. So I'm going to let that one go sadly. And then I'm never going to wear that shade of blush. It's just too like purple pink. So I'm going to let this one go as well. And these are my five NARS duo blushes. Out of these, there's only two that I really like. I like this one, which is called Fervor, and this one, which is called Craving. So I'm gonna be keeping those. These two, I actually really don't like. The colors are just, I feel like I have so many colors just like it in my collection. I do really like this light pink for a highlight, but I have other highlighters, and this color I don't love. So I'm gonna let both of these go. And then this one is such a maybe because the gold is a pretty unattractive color on me. I can't really pull it off, it's too yellow, but this beige color is so pretty as a highlight. But I have so many highlights, so I don't know. I don't know if I wanna give it away. I feel like I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile because I'm really unsure about it. These are the ones that have the most fun packaging and I'm going to be keeping every single one of these because I absolutely love them. I just wanted to show them to you. From Benefit, I have Rocketeur, Coralista, Bella Bamba, Hervana, and Dandelion. And I did have some other ones at one point, but I think I probably purged them because they got old. Because I've had Benefit box blushes forever, so I probably just thought it was time to go. And and then from the balm, we have Frat Boy, Down Boy, Hot Mama, which has been in favorites videos. I love that. And this one, which is called In Stain, which I haven't actually even tried this one. Is this even a blush? Yeah, it is. And then this is Benefit Majorette. I'm so unsure about this product, guys, because it's a cream blush and it's really, really orange. Like, it's not peachy. It's like straight orange. And I don't really know what to do with it. Like I've tried to wear it. It doesn't look that great on me, but I kind of want to like give it another shot. I don't know about this. I might try it on top of something else, but I feel like I'm going to end up letting this go very soon because I don't want it to just sit in my drawer, but I also think it's like such a fun product. I just, the Balm and Benefit and Too Faced are the three brands that really get to me with their cute packaging and it makes me like want to use every single thing. So I don't know. I think I'm going to try that again. Next we have some of my favorite high-end blushes. These are just miscellaneous brands. They're brands that I only have like one or two of the product. So I'm going to show you my favorites first. One of my all-time favorite blushes in the entire world is this one. This is 
Estee Lauder in tees. And unfortunately, this was limited edition and it was very hard to find. And I know you can't get it any longer unless they brought it into their permanent line, which I don't think that they have. However, I have found a perfect dupe for this. It's a very, very close dupe. And that is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact in Rose. Swatch next to each other. These are pretty much the exact same thing. And this is something that you can actually get. So that is like literally one of my favorite blushes. And I also really like this one. I also have, okay, this blush I'm so nostalgic over. This is Lancome Shimmering Pink Pool. And this was like one of the very first blushes that I ever owned in my entire life when I was in like middle school. My mom bought this for me. Not this exact one. That one I used up many, 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 many years ago. It was like my only blush forever. But I ended up repurchasing it out of nostalgia and it still is such a pretty color. It doesn't hold a candle to some of my other blushes. Like the quality of it is not something that I would tell you guys to run out and get. But it just brings back so many like memories of when I first was starting to fall in love with makeup. So I just love this product for that reason. So keeping that, I feel like I'm gonna be keeping most of what's in this drawer, but I wanna run through them anyway. I have the Dior Rosy Glow. This blush was the one that is supposed to like change colors for your skin. I feel like my light is just completely making this color to where you can't even see what color it is. Okay, that's a little bit better. See how faded out light makes everything, but we like kinda need it, cause then that gets really dark, so. Yeah, just use your imagination. This is like the most vivid pink, shocking pink blush ever. I just never really loved this blush. Like, I never I never got into the hype surrounding it, even though some people are like absolutely in love with this blush. Do you guys think that I should maybe not use the light? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Okay, so we're just gonna have to like put up with the light. Maybe if I shift it a little bit. Let's see. Uh, no, okay. I feel like it just has to be there because we're in like the corner of a dim office right now. So I'm not sure about this. I'm going to keep it for now, but I don't know. I don't really love this blush. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in a maybe pile. I have my four Clinique Cheek Pops. I love these and I'm going to be keeping all four of them. I have Plum Pop, Berry Pop, Ginger Pop. Woo, that one was open. And Coral Pop. Peach Pop, not Coral Pop. I'm going to be keeping all of these because I really love them. I also love my Lorac in Exposed. This is such a beautiful, beautiful shimmery peachy pink. It's like orgasm, but even smoother, even though I still really like that blush as well. This blush is really, really good. I have another Lorac. This is the Lorac Pro in Coral Crush. This is also a beautiful color and one that I'm going to be keeping. I have one by Chanel. This is the blush soft glow blush and this was from one of their limited edition lines i think it was like their spring summer line and i feel like i went through a phase where i did not like this product but i swatched it against some other blushes that i do really like and i want to give this one another chance so i'm gonna put it at the front of my drawer or maybe directly back into my makeup bag and use this because it's swatched really really beautifully i'm going to be keeping my paula dorf in ballet i feel like i got this in some sort of beauty box and i really like it i'm also going to be keeping so susan which is another one that i got in a beauty box and love i'm going to be keeping this one which is Hiraki in tango and honestly I don't know where I got this. I feel like I also got it in some sort of beauty box because this is not a brand that I'm aware of or would have purchased from, but it swatches really beautifully. I'm also going to be keeping my Laura Geller Beauty in Guava. This is another beautiful peach. I love it. Also keeping my Jane Airedale Rose Dawn, which is really pretty swirled together, and my Meryl Norman in 4-in-1 Color Kit contour, highlight, but honestly I find them just swirled together works best as a blush, which is why it's in this drawer. Okay, so I have three of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. Frisky is just too bright and also very chunky glitter, and so is Adored. This is like a cult favorite that I had heard so many people love, and I really wanted to love it, and I was so excited when I first got it, but it honestly has the chunkiest glitter of all time, and it doesn't fade nicely. It just kind of stays super chunky and 
I don't know, I like my glitter finely milled, you know? So both of these are going to go, and also this one. This is Shimmering Poppy, and I feel like the color changed over time because I feel like I really loved this at one point, and now the color just looks really not very flattering on my skin. So gonna be letting this one go. I will keep Peaceful, and then these two I saved for last because I swear they are exact dupes of each other. This is my Illamasqua blush in Katie, which is one of my all-time favorite blushes. And I was doing some swatching trying to like figure out what I was doing with my life with all these blushes and I found that the Bare Minerals Cheerful is almost an identical shadow blush. So I wanted to swatch them one more time and see. So that's Illamasqua Katie, which actually is really pretty over foundation. It's like a baby doll. And then this is Bare Minerals in cheerful and actually now that I see them they are quite different Katie has way more of like a purple pink and this one's more of a mauvey pink so you know what I'm going to be keeping them both I definitely thought those were closer when I was swatching them but one was here and one was like way up here so they weren't right next to each other they are not the same. Mm -mm. These are all of my drugstore blushes, and I know a few of them I'm definitely keeping, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those. First of all, my two hard candy blushes. This is in Living Doll, and this is in Honeymoon. I'm going to be keeping both of these. I'm gonna be keeping all three of my Milani baked blushes. I love these. This one is in Luminoso. This one is in Berry Amour, and this one is in Coralina. Definitely keeping all three of these. These are one of my favorite drugstore blushes, if you guys are in the market for a good budget-friendly blush. I'm also going to be keeping both of my sleek blushes. I was given this in a swap. This one is in rose gold and this one is in flushed. These two Maybelline blushes are my all-time favorite and I swear they look identical. I had to check the names to make sure that they were not the exact same color. But this one is in sweet cinnamon and this one is in medium nude and I love them both and I'm going to be keeping them both because I use them. I also love this which is NYX Ladylike. I like NYX Pink Fetish and I like this one which is NYX Wanderlust. However, I do not like this one which is NYX Ignite. It's just a little too orange for me. I feel like it's like a terracotta color and it just does not work for my skin. So I'm going to be passing that one on. Another one that I'm going to pass on is this Napoleon Paradis Cheek to Chic Duo number no. 5. The reason being is that I do like the bottom color but the top color is super chalky and there's no need for me to keep this just for the bottom color because I probably will never reach for it and I have so many blushes. So I'm going to let this one go. This little duo is from e.l.f. It's the blush and bronze duo. I love this. It's $3 and it's really, really good, especially for when I try to do less expensive looks because these are really great products and they are really close dupes to Orgasm and Laguna. They aren't quite as good though. I'm not going to lie. And then I have two of the e.l.f. blushes, both of which I like. This one is in Pink Passion and this one is in... Fuchsia Fusion, so keeping both of those. And then we have NYX in Pinky, keeping that. NYX in Spice, this is one of my favorites, definitely keeping that. And then this one is from Chroma Beauty and it is Illuminate. And I actually have not tried this, so I'm gonna swatch it and make a decision right now. This is a game time decision. Let's see. Uh, no, it's like a highlighter, but honestly it like doesn't, it doesn't do enough for my skin compared to other highlighters I have, so I'm gonna let this one go. Last but definitely not least, because I love them, I have all of my cream and liquidy blush products. So I'm going to like uncap all of these and spread them out so we can get a better look at what is going on here. Here they all are laid out, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the ones that I know that I'm keeping, which are the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouges. This is in Powder Pink, and this one is in Pink Truffle. I love both of these. I love the MAC Cream Blushes. This one is in Lady Blush and this one is in something special. Also, I love this one, but I feel like this one's gotten a little bit old. It has like a strange little like dip looking thing there, and I don't really know, because it hasn't been touched by anything. That wouldn't be weird if it had been, but it almost looks like it's like, I don't know, settled into itself. So I'm gonna keep this because I love it, but let me know in a comment what that means. Should I just like go ahead and back to Mac this? Cause it is on the older side. I don't think it's like detrimental that I throw it away right now, but 
I don't know, that's kind of freaking me out. What do you guys think? I haven't had a chance to try the Benefit Lolly Tint yet, so I'm going to keep the sample of that. I also love my Josie Marin Pink Escape. This is amazing. I've showed this in favorites videos before. I just love this so much. Like, I'm definitely keeping this. I want to get this in other colors as well. This is new, actually, and I love it. It's the Circa Beauty in Capri and I got this at Walgreens so it is a drugstore product and it is so like such a beautiful texture it's really really creamy it's almost kind of like a cream gel I love this this is a beautiful product as well I love my Chanel cream blush this is in the color Prestige it's absolutely beautiful keeping that I am going to be letting my Becca Beach Tint in Watermelon go. It's just gotten a little bit old and I feel like it's gotten a little funky. I put a little bit on my hand recently just to see if I wanted to use it and it just kind of gooped up and it was just kind of weird. So I'm gonna toss that. This Max Factor Cream Blush, I feel like this is a really pretty color. Nothing against this product. I just feel like it's the same color as so many other things that I have that I love more. So I'm gonna pass this on to someone who might like it a little bit more. This is MAC Virgin Isle Cream Color Base. It is a bright red orange in real life. It is so vivid. And the reason that I own this is because it was one of the first products that Blair ever recommended me because I was the older sister and so I was into makeup way before she was. But when we first started doing YouTube videos, she recommended this to me and I got one back then. I loved it and this is actually a recent repurchase because I missed it. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. What I found though is that it is very, very similar to the NARS Multiple in Siam. So I'm gonna be letting the multiple go because this is actually a little bit harder to blend out. This color, you obviously don't want this vivid on your skin you want it to blend out to a really beautiful flush and I feel like the cream color base does that much easier than the NARS so I'm going to be letting this one go and I'm going to be keeping this one I'm going to be keeping all three of these products because they're really pretty this is the Jouer cheek blush in Peony this is the NARS illuminator in Adeland, Adeline Ada Adelaide Adeland. And then this is the Bourjois Cream Blush in Nude Velvet. Okay, then looking at my NARS multiples, first of all, this one, which is in Quantum, yeah, this one has gone a little weird. The texture has gotten really strange. I swatched it on my arm and it just kind of like spread around. I think it's gotten old, so this one definitely is going to go into the trash. This one is Orgasm. I'm obviously going to be keeping that one because it's one of my all-time favorite products. These two are both really pretty. This one is in... Laos or Laos. I don't really know how to say all the NARS names. And this one is in Antigilia. Oh my gosh, I'm butchering these names. I know they're named after like places and I should know how to say some of these places, but I've never been to these places. Um, I'm gonna keep both of these. They're both really pretty. These two I got as potential contour colors. I wanted a cream contour and I can't remember which one is super red. I think it's this one. Is like, yeah, look how red toned that is for me. Even like blended out, it's just so orange. So this one is definitely going to be going. This one, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've used this. I feel like that one's better as like a bronze. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one as a potential like bronzer, especially when I'm tanner. Right now I'm really pale, but I feel like that would look nice when I'm a little bit tanner in the summers. So keeping that one. And then the last one is called Undress Me, I think. Yeah. This one I am so torn about because I like it, but it's so glittery. Like, it's so glittery. And it's pretty much just glitter. And I feel like I have a highlighter that is similar. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit similar to Luxor, which is this one. And Luxor is just so much prettier. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Undress Me. I sure am. This one just isn't, it just doesn't do enough. It's pretty much just chunky glitter and that's really all that it has going for it. All right, so I'm going to wipe down the bottom of this drawer and then I'm going to embark upon the project of trying to fit all of my blush, both powder and cream, into this drawer and we're gonna see how I do. If I don't succeed, that's okay because there's room in my highlighter drawer for my cream blushes, but I am fingers crossed that I can figure out how to make it fit. And I will be back to show you. You guys, I kid you not, I fit 
every single blush into this drawer. Granted, this drawer is super crammed all the way to the back where I can't even reach products, so it's not ideal because I cannot easily access every single thing in this drawer. I normally like leaving the last few inches back there without anything back there just because I know that I can't reach it easily. But the goal was to get everything to fit inside of this drawer, and it does. I do feel like I could go back through and reorganize it even a little bit more in order to clear up a little bit of space, but I am actually very proud of myself. I started to think that it wasn't going to all fit down towards the back, but I did. I got it all in this drawer, and the drawer closes. It's amazing. So I have all of my MAC ones here with my... Milani blushes and my Lorac, my Narses, my Illamasqua, my Tarte, this is Jane Iredell, Hard Candy, Benefits, The Balm, my high-end ones are here, Chanel, Estee Lauder, Lancome, Bobbi Brown, and then I have my cream blushes here, my Clinique Cheek Pops there, and my cream blushes from MAC are here, and then more cream products are kind of in the back. And in the very, very back are some of my drugstore blushes because I feel like I'm super familiar with those blushes, and I want to re-familiarize myself with some of these up here, so that is the only reason why I tucked those to the back. There's nothing against drugstore blushes. I just feel like I know those ones a little bit better, and I know they're back there. So overall, I am very, very impressed with myself on this one. Let me round up all the ones I'm giving away because they are everywhere. In total, I've gotten rid of 27 blushes. These are all of the ones from NARS. We have four of the multiples and then a bunch of the powder blushes. And then we have these ones that are all the other brands combined. So these are the ones that are going to go to new homes. I'm gonna go through and decide if any of these need to be tossed because I think a couple of them had gotten old and weird but other than that I'm going to let Blair and my mom go through these so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this blush collection and declutter video and I will see you guys with my next video and the next part of this series bye